What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, I want to talk about this uh, PS5 reveal event. Uh, kind of want to go over my disappointments. Kind of want to go over really the misjudgment. Now, I know again the title of this is uh, you know it was massively disappointing. And I I think it was. I think disappointing is a good word. And I don't want people to get too upset. I mean, I'm a, I'm a massive. If you guys have been around this channel for any period of time, you'll probably know I'm a massive PlayStation fan. Uh, PlayStation is my primary console. I've been with them for a very long time in terms of you know like buying their products. So. Uh, you know, I think to me personally, this was something that was, again, just pretty misjudged. Mark Cerny is, I believe, the smartest man in gaming. I truly do. Now, like, Hideo Kojima is, like, just really, like, out there, like, really crazy, right? But, like, a brilliant, a brilliant mind, right? Like, a genius in his own right, a Shuhei Yoshida. And obviously, there's many executives, there's many architects, there's many engineers, all these different, you know, labels. There are so many smart, firstly, there's so many smart people out there in the world in general. We see that every day. When it comes to the gaming industry, Industry, though I truly believe Mark Cerny is the smartest man. He's so smart that they gave him Knack One, and more importantly, they gave him Knack Two when that was not deserved. That was not warranted. But you know what? Considering he like builds their consoles for them, uh, as you can clearly see, he knows what he's talking about. I feel like they're indebted to him forever. If he wants Knack Twenty Six, he's gonna get Knack Twenty Six in like thirty years. It's just what we all have to sign up for. But no, really, uh, you know, this it was it was okay. It was okay for what it was. I think if you went in expecting it to literally be him talking about the specs, which, let me make clear, they did say that. They did say that. I had believed that yesterday. I was going back and forth with Tyler, and I had said, you know, they could just only talk about specs. The question was kind of like, well, are they going to talk about specs and show games to back it up, which is what Tyler thought. And, and by the way, I think that's a very fair criticism, and that's why I think so many people were disappointed. If you go back and you watch the PS4, like, spec announcement, uh, they did that. They showed examples of what they were talking about using Killzone and using Knack. Those were two of the biggest examples of, of showing, kind of like, here's the particle effects and, and all the stuff. So when they were talking about the specs and the GPU and all the stuff that the PS4 could do, then they showed a few games to kind of show it in action. Now, we've seen, you know, behind closed doors, Spider-Man do that, right? And he even mentioned that Spider-Man's, uh, you know, the, the train travel system. We have seen that, and he did reference that. So he knows it's out there. Um, but so, like, that would have been nice to show at the same time you know as you were going through this like hour-long thing I think it should have been blatantly clear that we were not going to get something like that I'll be honest there were some parts that I really liked I actually things that I didn't th because here's here's the deal I guess I'll, I'll skip to this I'm not a big spec guy because ultimately my biggest problem with a, an event like this or him talking about this for an hour here here's my biggest problem is I can speak for myself, being not really a big spec guy, like not knowing much about teraflops and GPU and all, and like ray tracing and all this stuff that he's talking about. I mean, I've gotten more familiar with them over the last couple of years, but I'm not. I can't tell you that much about them. Uh, then that that's just me. You guys may have different ideas, but I'll tell you honestly, the things that he were he was saying could have been summed up in an article. It you I think a lot of people probably just wait for that article saying, okay, well now we know what it can do, which one's more powerful, PS5, Xbox, uh, Xbox Series X, because realistically isn't that kind of all we care about when it comes and it's it's not necessarily a good thing. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but aren't we kind of all in that boat because we're all in the console war thing even though you know maybe we shouldn't be you know it's it's perfectly uh, fine to not be part of that but we're all kind of in the you know which one is more powerful than the other just I don't know, even for like gloating things because if if one is slightly more powerful than the other is that really if you're entrenched in the Series X, but you find out the PS4 is just slightly more powerful because of a GPU or some other like three, uh, you know, three letters that you don't even know what that means, is that going to make you switch? No, because you're in it probably for the games. You're in it for because your friends have it. You're in it because you've already bought. The, you know, you've you've been part of that ecosystem for all. Same thing with PlayStation. I have the PS4. I have actually have all three consoles: Switch, uh, Xbox, and PlayStation. But I have the PS4. If the Xbox, even if the Xbox was massively more powerful, and and again, how do we even? How are we told that? We're told that just by an article. Anybody could have written an article. People that are maybe more. Gra and and by the way, some of these journalists aren't even that well grasped. They just kind of 
give the summary of all of the digits, all of the numbers, all of the letters. That's all they do. Uh, you're just waiting for somebody who knows this kind of stuff to say, okay, well, this one is faster than this. Here's what this one's going to allow you to do. Here's why this one is more powerful than the other one. And that's it. That's like the summary. And anybody truly on the internet can give you that. The problem with this reveal event, or what just, if you even want to call it that, I mean, I, I guess I'm titling it that because that's honestly that's what everybody is titling it. Um, really, the problem with this event is you could have summed it up in a minute on just a blog post or IGN could have written a story or you could have had a YouTuber say it. That's what this was. And I feel like, again, that was misjudged. It, I I didn't see, like, the live, like, concurrent count. But, I mean, when I clicked on it, uh, it had, like, 650,000 people watching. I'm sure it got set. I'm, I, I assume it probably reached at least over 700,000 people at one time. So, in all, millions of people watched this. And you're not... Let me tell you right now. I'll, I'll be. I'll be honest. Those million. Those millions of people. They. They were not there to hear Mark Cerny talking about the audio specs and ray tracing and stuff like that. They were not. I mean, ultimately, that's not what they thought they were signing up for. Now, again, you could say that we we did it to ourselves. It's it, it's our fault. And actually, here's the deal. Here's what I'll say. Is it, it actually is now? It's Sony's fault for misjudging why we would be tuning in. You know, they're they're just radio silent. Nobody's talking about this PlayStation. And then all of a sudden they say, hey, Mark Cerny is going to talk about it. And it's like, hold, like, sound the alarms. We're all at home. We're not doing anything. So let's all watch this, right? We got nothing better to do. Let's watch this. This is it. Uh, and again, the whole this is it part, like, oh, my God, we're going to see it. We're going to do this. We're going to – those are – that was the over-exaggeration. But, again, that's natural. I don't think you can blame us for expecting things like that. And at the end of the day, this was a thing talking about the specs of the PlayStation, but we didn't even see it. We still don't know what it looks like. We still don't know what the, the DualShock 5 looks like. We didn't see any games running on it. We didn't see any examples of what he was talking about, which, again, there were some things that interested me. There were some things that I didn't even expect because, again, I'm not a big uh, you know systems guy. I don't know these specs. To be honest, the thing that caught that caught me the most was the audio part, the part of how he was talking about how they're really trying to make audio like 3D and like fully realized, and you know there'll be like that sweet spot that you can set. That obviously using a headset is like the main way to do it, like the best way to, of achieving audio. But they really want to make it so that you can just sit in front of your TV. And Honestly, that was the most engaging part because I felt like that was kind of the most basic things that got too complicated, too sophisticated. They weren't for us. They weren't for the gamers. Again, people that are going to get the PS5, they're not getting it because of this. I'll, here's I, Maybe this is the summation of this. People that are going to buy the PS5 are not buying it because of anything said, I believe, in this conference, in, in this one-hour thing. Not a single thing. You're not going to buy it because of the audio. You're not going to buy it because he tells you that it's going to take developers less time to fully realize their games, even though that is important. I, I do agree that's important. Uh, and there were other things. I mean, there were other things in general. I mean, backwards compatibility with the PS4, so we talked about that. He talked about all these different options that developers are going to have. But it was really, in my opinion, it was geared more towards, and I saw people even on Discord saying this, like stockholders. I think it was I think it was more towards like the industry side of gaming. That's who this that's who this hour long thing was speaking to. It was like the experts, it was the people that make these chips or people that are that, that just work with them. Because ultimately if you're a game developer, maybe this is the first time, especially if you're small, this could have been the first time that you hear about all these things. And obviously you know what he's talking about. Us, we're not making a game for the PlayStation 5. We don't care. Again, we don't care. If one is slight and I believe I'm recording this literally 10 minutes after you know the thing ended and then the video goes up in like an hour so I I haven't looked at anything I feel like though from the specs that I saw I think the Xbox Series X is more powerful, like just by a little. But I mean, again, I, I don't actually know. Uh, you know, I I have to just wait for somebody to tell me that ultimately. But you know what? Again, it's fine. You know, uh, I guess again, people have been so caught up, and and I have. I'll admit, I've been caught up in that before as well, especially going in to last gen, the PS4 and Xbox One. I really was into which one is going to be more powerful. Not that that influenced which one I bought, because I ultimately bought the PS4 first. But which one is going to be more powerful? But then when the Xbox One X came out and all that kind of stuff, and it's like, well, this is more powerful, and it's even more powerful than the PS4 Pro. But then there's some things in the Pro that's more powerful. But see, when you get into those kind of things, and I think, honestly, with every passing console generation, that's going to happen, is, again, does it matter when it seems more and more like, well, this thing 
is more powerful on this because it seems like these consoles are doing things like they're they're going down their speciality. You know, Microsoft's Xbox Series X may be more powerful, may be able to do I don't know. It may literally again just like the eye test. Maybe games just look better, but maybe the PlayStation the loading times are so much better or what? I, I mean, what I honestly again I don't know because I'm not into the specs, but I feel like you know what I mean. If you guys understand what I mean, I, I think I, I'm trying to say the best I can. I feel like that's the situation where certain things are going to be more powerful in PlayStation and certain things are going to be more powerful on Xbox. And that's just how it is. Again, that doesn't make or break, honestly, anything. You know what does is the games, is seeing what they're actually making, is the bigger things like backwards compatibility, like their uh, services, like PlayStation Plus, like PlayStation Now. You really got to push that to combat uh, Games Pass on Xbox. So those are the kind of things that make the biggest difference. And to not talk about any of that stuff, again, I understand it was a specs thing, but... You, I mean, how cool would it have been to say, hey, really quickly before we leave, we want to show you one example of anything that we're talking about. You know what I mean? Uh, again, I get the situation they were in. I understand what kind of thing it was. And again, as it started, I mean, it definitely wasn't going to do that. There was really no hope. But they could have. They honestly could have. And now the question becomes, when is the time when we're actually going to see some, some big info? The info that we kind of all want to see. We'll be talking about that uh, on tomorrow's video. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have that bell icon rung. Because again, tomorrow morning, the first probably two videos maybe just the first video uh, of tomorrow we're going to be talking about kind of the future when we expect to see more PlayStation stuff stuff like that so we'll have stuff covered uh, PlayStation wise obviously if anything happens we'll be covering it as well thank you all so much for watching I greatly greatly appreciate it stay safe we're all in this fight together as I've been saying in all these videos if you guys need to talk we're here for you and I hope to see you all in the next video